Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. We're popping off in the chat this morning. We got the golden kappas in the chat. We're going wild. We had a pretty crazy week, too. We've been working on Excalibur 2. We are knee-deep into Disc 3 of our Excalibur 2 run. We got another world record in Neon White last night. We've been popping off this week. And now we're back to some more Xeno Gears where things are getting uh, things are getting interesting. You know, we got Ellie got captured, and our party kind of doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, they do. It's just the dialogue's just kind of like it, it's not. Sometimes the dialogue doesn't fit the mood very well, and this is definitely one of those moments where it's like. We spent so much time building up this moment between Faye and Ellie, and then Ellie gets captured, and the the team's just kind of like, so anyways, we have other things to attend to. Um, and there was that whole moment with me and Bart that was, like, kind of weird, because I figured it would be more emotional, and they were just kind of like, whatever, so... The dialogue's definitely starting to diminish a bit and I know it's because of the the translation and the single translator and everything but we can only base our observations off of what we're seeing and unfortunately it's starting to to be hampered a bit but it's still you know well it's not just this guy or sick moments it's like the whole writing like if it were just like typos and stuff it'd be one thing but the whole writing has started to go off a bit on a strange vibe. Um, but the overall story is still incredibly ambitious and incredibly interesting, and I'm really interested to see where things go. We have the aliens, we got Faze. You know, we still don't know much about Faye and where that's going to go. And So, like, there's still so much that I'm interested in. Um, for now, I believe we need to go talk to the captain, is what they said. Which I don't know exactly what they mean by that. Because it's not... There was nothing on the bridge. Also, what happened to freaking... What's her name? I'm changing, so don't you come in. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was, uh... What's the name of the girl that has Choo Choo? What was her name again? Margie. What happened to Margie? We haven't seen her in forever. I didn't want to get her involved. You mean Margie? Speaking of Margie. Sorry, I know I promised that if anything happened, I would protect Margie and the people of Nissan. You're worried about that? It's okay, you've had it tough too. I'm in it okay. That's my job. When the Yggdrasil's fixed, I'm going on straight ahead. So I guess they're just kind of saying, like, she's just, yeah, she's just kind of left with the, the sisters, and who knows if we'll see her again. But of course, I know Nissan's in danger, but since everything's messed up there, I thought now would be a good time to sneak in there. I didn't plan on taking her along as long as I knew she was safe there. But I certainly doubt Shikan will just stand by and do nothing. That's what the people from her sect said, too. But it's still risky, so they say they want me to stay close to her and protect her. Really? And you're okay with that? Yeah. I feel like Margie was kind of a tool to make us care more about Nissan, because before it was just kind of a city. But then we met Margie and learned more about the history of it and learned more about her place and we we like Margie because 
they introduced her as like a really likable, cool character. So then when we learned that of her like whole history with Nissan, it then translates into like, okay, now we want to protect Nissan. So I feel like she was used really well as like a way for us to care about saving Nissan in, in particular. But I think she's going to be more than just that. Like, I think she's going to be more involved here soon. I see you've brought along another strapping young lad. I'm Bart. Thanks for letting my ship dock here. Gah ha 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 ha. This is great. You come to ask about the ship? My submarine, Yggdrasil, was damaged by an enemy attack. It'll be out of operation for a little while. And there she is. Speak of the devil. Bart, you're terrible. You went on without me. Oh, Margie, just when I'm starting to sound like a captain. I get away from Nissan, but then I'm stuck on the Yggdrasil. I'm sick of it. Captain? Hi, I'm Margaret. Oh, man, look. We're having a man-to-man -man talk here. So, Margie, why don't you go back to the Yggdrasil? You're terrible. You're starting to sound like Sig. What? Me? Like Sig? You're always so thoughtless, Bart. Faye and the others were floating around because you fired on that craft impulsively. Whoa, st stupid. You're not supposed to... Bart, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't even realize Faye didn't even know yet. Everyone else knew but Faye. It is true, Faye. Couldn't be helped. How could I have known you were... It <laughs> couldn't have been helped. You... Incorrect. I'm so disgusted. I don't have anything to say. Don't get so mad. I shouldn't have brought you out of Nissan. I heard that, you big jerk. Gah ha ha. Great, great. It's great to be young. Hey, kiddo, you're supposed to be some kind of pirate? Oh, yeah, a man of the sea. I was a man of the desert, but... All right, even better. Yes, man of the sea. Bart, right? I'll show you to our famous beer hall. All the captain wants to do is drink beer with everyone. My lady, may I borrow this fellow? What a weird guy. Faye, are you mad about Bart? No, that's not it. About Ellie, then? Yeah. It'll be all. It'll all be okay. If you're so worried, why don't you go rescue her? Just like Bart helped me out. Yes, do something, Faye. Do something. It's a very common theme with uh, little girl characters or even little boy characters where like the adults will be like, it's more complicated than that. Saving her won't be so easy. We got to do this and do that and do this. And then the little character will just be like, we'll just do it. And then the older character like realizes like they're right. I always love that trope. Like it's definitely a trope, but it's always it's always cool when they do it. It's like adults think too much about things and kids just do and sometimes adults have to be like a kid and just do it, you know? Just don't worry about any don't worry about your emotions, don't worry about what could go wrong, and just do it, you know? It's so cool when Vaughn does it. Okay, well let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> Cease your naive utterances. I've said nothing wrong. I have no intention of discussing this matter further with you. Your traitorous actions are already apparent. I will beat you down right here. Stop it at once. Are you okay? Miang, what are you doing? She is a traitor. Such acts will not be allowed on the ship under Ramses' command, no matter the reason. I have examined the records of the battle between the High Show and B Bierge. From what I can tell, it was you who attacked first, wasn't it? She had no choice but to defend herself after you took it upon yourself to act attack without permission. Above all, you were meant to be under Kelvana's command. Were you obeying Kelvana's orders? You are not to 
prosecute any soldier for treason without proper authority, even if you both are elements. Further, isn't your attitude toward the lieutenant nothing more than your own personal prejudice? Or am I mistaken? What? I would never. Thus far, we still cannot determine whether or not she is guilty of treason. To investigate the truth of this matter further, I am placing the lieutenant under my supervision. Is that clear? How dare you? By what authority? Let's go. What What was that? Those eyes. They're really setting up Miang as like a really cool character. Like everything she does is so interesting. I'm also curious as to whether or not she even meant all that or if she's just basically projecting so she could save Ellie for her own personal gain. Seems like everything she does is for her own personal gain, so there's got to be a reason. I see. So that's what was going on. Since I have other matters to attend to, would you mind staying here for a while? Not at all. You don't have to worry about a thing. Leave the rest to me. What you need is to recover from your fatigue. Crystalline. Blue. Like the surface of a lake. Uh, excuse me? Your eyes. They're beautiful. What? <laughs> excuse me, what? Here is the engagement report between Haisho and the enemy gear. This is the... I'm sure of it. It's currently at Thames, if not somewhere in the ocean nearby. Change course, head for Thames. Wait, their mothership Yggdrasil seems to be able to submerge. If they submerge, they'll have the upper hand on Haisho. Any attack we might make would just be wasted since they could simply dive. But if we eliminate that function first, it's still not too late. I've already made the proper arrangements. Arrangements? Yes, sir. Alright, we'll try it your way. Thank you, Commander. I love this, like... I, I don't know exactly what's going on with Ramses and Miang yet. But there seems to be this theme in this game of, like... Uh... Commanders being... Uh not complacent, uh, ignorant. Like, uh, the ignorance of the higher levels of command. There was, like, the guy with the cross on his face. I forget his name because it was dumb, but, like, that guy was, like, a complete idiot and just threw his whole crew out to die and everything, right? And then you have, like, Ramses, who's, like, it seems like Miang has the the upper hand on him like she's basically controlling him without him realizing it and she's the real one in control Vandercom, yeah um, and there's definitely like something going on between where she's kind of like a I, I don't know if she's necessarily a double agent but it definitely seems like she was placed here specifically by the big bad to uh, keep everything in check and keep everything under control. Not even just a spy, but like she's literally controlling everything from within. And she's kind of his eyes as well. And, uh, but even, even more than that, like, Ramses does seem to make mistakes a lot, even just in battle. And Miang seems to just know you know, be like way more intelligent and smart in combat. Um, and then you have like, uh, e even with, uh, I, I, for some reason I'm blanking on everyone's name, Domin Dominaria, Dom, De Demon, De woman that we just saw. Uh, she also, Dominia, thank you. Um, she also is, like, flying by the seat of her pants and wearing her heart on her sleeve and not listening to her superior officers just to... 
but she's still like really high up but she's not uh you know she's making like the bad decisions too so there's this like overarching theme of of basically the whole uh army kind of destroying itself from the inside that's really interesting and Miang's like the ultimate version of that but even even the the parts of the army that aren't infiltrated they're also like falling apart by their own hubris by the way what happened between you and Dominia by the way it's literally on the screen I could have just read it there she was livid I'm sorry, it had to do with that Yggdrasil incident earlier. Those girls work hard, especially for you. It's my job to be hated. It's Shinra with mechs. I don't know, Shinra... As incompetent as Shinra is... I feel like the incompetency of Shinra is mostly the lower end. Like, the fact that, in fact, the fact that Scarlet and Heidegger and Palmer and, I mean, I guess you could say Reeve is kind of a double agent, but he was always, they always threw him under the bus anyways. But like, the big the big five, right? Like the president, Scarlet, Heidegger, Palmer, and Rufus. None of them actually go like against each other. Like they never fight. They don't kill each other. They don't double cross. They don't, you know what I mean? Like they actually do, in the end, all work together and all attempt to do what the president says. They just fail, which is pretty funny. I don't think Shinra necessarily, like, destroyed themselves. I think Shinra was just destined to fall because they're evil and destroying the planet and, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But I wouldn't say they necessarily, like, destroyed themselves. In fact, Rufus's, like, plan was, uh, like, should have been fine if it weren't for those dastardly kids. Um, yeah, Hojo also, but yeah. <laughs> Hojo definitely, although, to be fair, Hojo never does anything to, like, ruin Shinra. The only thing he really does that's, like, completely against Shinra's wishes is shooting the Sister Ray at the end, but everything else he does is following the President's orders. He just has his own agenda on top of that, but, like, he doesn't necessarily do anything to destroy Shinra, right? Yeah. And when he does quit Shinra, he doesn't, like, destroy Shinra. He just uses their tech. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting. You would think that... You would think that they would fall into the trope of, like, oh, it's an evil company with a bunch of evil people running it. They're all gonna double-cross each other and destroy each other from the inside. But that never really happens. They actually do all stick together. Maybe we'll see in the remake. Maybe they'll... Maybe there'll be more double-crossing or something will happen since they all have much bigger personalities in the remake. But yeah, in terms of the original, they never they never do really turn on each other. Faye, the young master hasn't come back yet. What's he up to? Would it be too much to ask for you to go and call him for me? No problem. He's probably whining and dining with the captain of the Thames. I'm not a big fan of the constant, like, go find this NPC. They do that a lot in this game, and we're just walking around the same area to go find them, you know? If it was like a new area, it was like, go find them, that'd be one thing. Because then that gives me an excuse to explore the new area. But it's always like the same area that I have to go find somebody. So I'm just going around the same... Same area once again to find a different NPC. That's where it gets into the, uh... That's where it gets into the... Possible padding... Category of like, oh, they might have been... They might have been padding some time here. 
Granted, that was only two screens I had to walk, so it's not a big deal. They came out, one after another. Slam, bam, crash! That's how it happened. Hey, Bart, Sigurd was asking about you. Gah ha 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 Of course, if you're not strong, you can't be a man of the sea. Yeah, check the Sarm out. Proof. Of the men. Of the sea. <laughs> I love how uh, much they relate. Like, Bart and the captain, they're like the same person. Gah ha ha ha. Captain, your first mate is calling you. Oi, he's interrupting our Men of the Sea story. That Hans, he's such an unrefined chap. What does he want now? Our lady seems to have returned. Our lady? Oh, you mean Ellie? Fool, why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, well, let's go. Yeah, that's... Another odd translation there. Faye's like, Oh, you mean Ellie, when he should be like, Wait, Ellie's back? Like, wait, Ellie return? Where's Ellie? She's seeing to the gear. She will be along any time now. You mean she was able to escape? Well, it's good for you, right, Faye? Ah, yeah. Ellie, are you okay? Yeah. What's that submarine? Oh, you mean the Yggdrasil? It took a bad bashing, so now it's here, at Thames, for repairs. I see. Can I rest for a while? I'm exhausted. That's a good idea. Faye, it's my ship. Oi, oi, she said she's tired. Let her rest. Well, I'm going. I don't like this. Bart, you're still... It's not like that. She won't backstab us. I was raised around thugs and charlatans. I can tell just by looking in her eyes. Then you accept, Ellie. That's why I can't. She may be okay with it. But what about her family back home? Do you think she can live with that? Can she do that? Just get rid of her family? She has to decide. She, Ellie, is probably worrying about that. We can't involve people who have attachments. Bart. Hmm. We'll do whatever you want. Is this supposed to be, like, the most awkward thing ever or what? Because I'm, like, very confused. <laughs> like, I, the tone is so off. I don't understand. Are we not, like... Are we not confused as to how she escaped? And is Faye not, like, happier that she's back? And... I... I feel like Bart... Makes sense. Like, Bart's dialogue made sense, but everyone else is, like... Out to lunch. I don't know what's going on. How do I... There better be an explanation. <laughs> or I'm gonna be so confused. There better be an explanation as to why she's back. Like, they let her go because they wanted to know. They, my guess is that they let her go so that we could... They could take... She could take them to here. Because they said something about getting rid of our ability to dive, so they must be up to something, right? Young Master, where did you go while we were busy? An international goodwill visit with the Thames. Well, whatever. Now about those supplies for the submarine. Oh, that? Let me see. Order an additional 16 torpedoes. Yes, sir. 
The young master has finally started to realize his position as a king. Excellent. Missiles. Young Master, I heard all about it. International amity with the Thames, indeed. This old man's efforts weren't all wasted. How oh, may I be of service? You did it, Mason. You made Bart a fine young man. You can dine with the best of them. It's down here. Oh, look who it is. That girl had the eyes of a prisoner. Okay. Where is this place? Never heard of the Thames before. Why sprites and not 3D models like Seven? It's an art style choice, but also given that all of the areas are already 3D and you can turn the camera and everything, like, surely it would have been hard to make the characters also 3D models. But, yeah, I mean, it would have been, it's a pretty common style anyways. I'm imagining if this game, if this game had entire 3D environments plus 3D models and it was a multi-disc RPG with one of the most ambitious stories I've ever seen in a video game back in 1997, I think this game would have taken them 10 years to make. <laughs> so probably had to do with the limitations as well. I was the only one who escaped Shikan's grip by fleeing N Nissan with Bart. I wonder if the sisters are all are all right. The young master will help them too, won't he? They spelled all right as two separate words. That's why I was so confused at first. <laughs> Even though it was the sex wish, it still left a bitter feeling. I hope they're all right. I hope all of them are right. I hope none of them were wrong. Yeah, there's... The more we play, the more I'm realizing how many errors there are, but... The errors don't bother me as much as the tone, because a lot of PS1 RPGs had errors, a lot of JRPGs had errors, the translation just wasn't... Obviously this was done by one guy, so that makes a lot of sense, but even stuff like Final Fantasy VII, like the translation teams were just smaller, there just wasn't a... They didn't have as big of a foothold in America as they do now, so there's just smaller teams doing it and... It makes sense that there's errors. It doesn't really bother like it. It almost adds to the charm, yeah. It reminds me of Final Fantasy VII and other early JRPGs. 
but the tone is what bothers me, and I don't think it's necessarily just the translation causing the tone issues, but this is not a... Not the biggest problem in the world, but it's definitely a problem. No. I'm supposed to find Ellie. She's gotta be in a She's gotta be in one of these rooms. Maybe this one. Oh, this is the medical. Good luck, you got a month. Try not to screw it up. She's not in here, is she? I seriously doubt it. And that's Margie's room. What? Why am I here? Well, never mind that. It's not like I'm hiding the fact that I broke the wall or anything. Oh, and by the way, you can go through this door to the gun room or go down the stairs to the engine room. Is there... Maybe she's like... Maybe she's with her gear? Well, that doesn't make sense. She said she was going to rest. They didn't learn from the SNES era and give them two months. Two days, take it or leave it. Is your gear even here? I feel like it's probably more important to try to nail the important moments than have all the little dialogue be perfect, you know? What about here? Does this door open now? No. This door? No. Is this a game for ants? is the shop, so I don't think she'd be in here. Maybe, uh, Doc is still in here? I mean, I wonder how much dialogue there is in this game. What if... Hold up. Oh, she might be in one of these rooms. I forgot. She's probably in one of these rooms. Not that one. Seymour's good. engine room. Oh, okay. I had a sneaking suspicion. What's up? 
yeah i i i had a sneaking i'm like i'm putting it together in my head i'm like wait they were just talking about taking out our sinking system and you know maybe she's in the engine room what's up martel hey huh hey miss I heard you got caught. Are you okay? Easy, Martel. It's just the Solarian girl. You don't need to bark. It's an animal, so it can't help it. By the way, the first mate wants to see you. Oh? Oh, I see. Sorry. Now, imagine how much cooler this would have been if, like, Faye opened his heart up to Ellie just then. You know? Like, Ellie came back and he was like, I'm so happy you're back! And then, like, it wasn't her. Like, it would have been so much cooler. Instead, the... She's dead. Instead, the tone was all off and now it's just kind of awkward. Also, I think it is her. I think she was brainwashed or something. Ellie! I knew it all along. This mall's a mall. Dang it. What the heck did she do? What am I gonna do? This, de this is definitely interesting in terms of Faye and Bart's relationship, too. Doc, what is this? Wait, do not worry about her. Stopping this is our priority. Wow, Satan, just throw her under the bus. There. How is this? Yeah, what the heck is a mall? <laughs> By the way. <laughs> well, there went that plan. I don't get it. At least when I saw her up there, she didn't have the eyes of a traitor. She was given some strong hypnosis. Hypnosis? It is a special hypnotism that makes a person behave in a pre-programmed way. A special condition serves as a switch to act, but until then, no strange behavior can be detected. She looked strange when coming out of the medical room, so I followed her. Satan, if you thought it was suspicious, you could you should have stopped her. Well, if you forcibly stop the behavior while imprinting, occasionally it destroys the mind. But it is true that I redacted a reacted a little late. Not sure we needed that whole explanation, but okay. What did you guys do to my engine room? <laughs> what, what's going on? Young Master, have you done it again? It may take a while to fix it. she do this? Hypnosis. That's pretty danged underhanded even for Solaris. No, a mole is a term for like somebody on the inside, but I don't know what a mall, M-O-L-L -L, is. It broke again just after getting restored. What am I gonna do? Anyhow, we will take her to the medical room first. Faye, go to the room when you are done here. No need to worry. The hypnotist must have been a good one. There are no mental scars. Okay, what? How does he know that there's no mental scars? Wait. <laughs> Excuse me, Doc? <laughs> she just opened up her brain just now? I love Doc, but sometimes he feels like he's uh, a tool to just explain to the player what's going on because they have no other way to explain it. You know what I mean? He's just kind of here to explain crap sometimes. 
I, I, how in the world did I get here? Maul is a female gangster, really? Huh. I'm surprised I don't know that, or have never heard that before, because I've always been, like, really interested in that time period, and, like, I've seen several movies and, like, theater plays of that time period. And, like, there's a lot of different, like, slang for what gangsters would call their girlfriends and even the girlfriends that are on the inside. I never heard that term. I've heard the term doll. Not mall, though. Hmm. Ellie. Young master, the radar has picked up a huge gear. It's headed right for us. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I wonder where they get these ideas, too. Like, sometimes we play these JRPGs and they have, like, a weird translation. And it feels like they Googled something and then took, like, the ninth result. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're trying to come up with a word that, like, isn't used very often like they're trying to be unique so they they'll type up like what would you call a a woman that's a traitor and then but they won't use like the first second third fourth result they'll use like the fifth result they'll be like okay we're gonna try to make this like more but then it ends up just being like really weird sounding <laughs> What them again? That shape looks like... Alright, I owe so much to the Thames, I can't let it turn into a battlefield. Launch the Yggdrasil immediately, we'll go out in our gears. Yes, sir. Faye, Satan, I'm counting on you. Wait! Ellie should rest here, we will... Wait! Because I came here, this all happened. This is my responsibility, so, so let me go too. Ellie? What the heck are you talking about? Don't you remember what you just did? Young one. Ellie, our trust in you depends on this battle. For your honor, you should fight. But Satan, I... So, I'm curious. Do you think Satan... Because Satan knows everything, and he knows that she was under psychosis. Or hypnosis and I feel like Satan already trusts Ellie from before when they had that conversation way back in the beginning of the game at the at the fire so my thought process here is that he's actually putting on a front to try to help Bart trust Ellie so he's saying like okay Ellie if you can help us in this battle then we'll trust you because you'll you know you'll show us that you're fighting against your own army and you know trust us right but i i think he already trusts her i think that he's basically putting up a front here for bart so he's saying this so that bart will agree with it so that bart can then trust her because i'm pretty sure satan already trusts her young one please trust ellie this time Ellie, if you try anything suspicious, I will be the one to shoot you. Okay. Okay, Satan, just throw it out in the gauntlet. I, I do think that, I think that's what he's doing. I think he's like, he's trying to play tough. He's trying to play hardball here so that Bart will trust her. Because again, I'm pretty sure Satan already trusts her. Is that clear? Yes. Is that okay with you, young one? All right, Faye, Ellie, let's go. Kind of cool how much Bart trusts Satan. But it makes sense, given how much we've been through already. I don't know if we've really gotten anything since... <laughs> Who gave Satan the gun? The Whippa Snappa. Greatest name for a weapon ever. Especially given that he's the young lad. Ooh. 
I think I'm pretty happy with everything we got. This might be nice for her, but... Oh, I could give her this. Also, you don't have one at all. I should probably give you one. Also, I don't really need that. Might want to use this. I don't know if the fighting's going to be in the water or not, but potentially. I'll give you that, actually. I don't think... give you that. Give you that. Give you this. Ooh. I say Do anything suspicious, I'm gonna give you the finger gun. Pow! She'll be dead right on the spot. 